I am unboxing the Kiko Milano Advent Calendar 2024. This Advent Calendar is 130 euros and I'm very curious, like, is it going to be worth it? Is this going to be worth the price? I do believe that there are some items in here that are actually from their holiday collection. And then there are also some items in here that are from their regular line. It's kind of like a mix of everything. And yeah, I just really want to see if that 130 euros is worth it for this because that is a lot of money for an advent calendar okay let's get into it by the way if you love advent calendar content i also unbox the catrice advent calendar the great christmas advent calendar and i also unbox the essence advent calendar i will link them in this video all right so the advent calendar i actually think the packaging of this is really beautiful it's a pretty heavy calendar like it's clear that there's a lot of like makeup in here like it feels like really nice sturdy cardboard it is a very beautiful calendar i love the style of this it is very like it has those colors that are just exuding luxury to me so i do really like how this is already looking and then we have the door which is magnetic so you open it up like this i wish i had more hands <laughs> Okay, so you open it up like this and here we have the drawers and let's open up drawer number one. This is a bit hard to do while holding it all up. Oh, I just took the whole drawer out. Maybe that is easier than like holding up the whole calendar the whole time. So starting with drawer number one. By the way, this calendar does have a value of 252 euros. So it's not like the biggest discount I've seen in calendars. It's like mm, about 50%, not exactly. But if you order this online, usually Kiko Milano does have this welcome back discount code that gets you 15% off. And then it's a lot more like interesting i would say i did get it with a discount so this is what the drawer looks like we are just gonna start out with day number one and let's see how easy this is to get out because this is pretty snug in there all right i got it so this is a really cute packaging i love the gold so the first product is gonna be a single eyeshadow this is the holiday wonder lights metallic magnitude eyeshadow in 01 and i'm thinking that these products that are from like the holiday wonder lights line are also going to be in their holiday wonder lines limited edition collection but of course that isn't out yet so this is actually looking really nice kind of like this golden champagne i'm gonna give it a swatch the embossing by the way is really beautiful so i kind of don't want to ruin it but i also want to experience this with you guys okay this is looking quite nice it's looking quite like shiny, like maybe a little bit of a like shimmery, glittery topper, a nice inner corner highlight. That is actually a cute eyeshadow. All right, day number two. I do like it that like they are grouping the days in a logical manner because with the Essence one, I was like going back and forth. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So they made it pretty easy here. So day number two is gonna be one of the Elasting Medville Liquid Lip Colors. I really like this formula. This is a really nice long lasting thin feeling formula it does dry down fully and it's not like a hydrating formula so it's kind of like neutral on the lips like it doesn't really dry it out but it also doesn't really hydrate it i do really like the colors that i already have this this is shade 15 i'm not sure but i believe that this is a new shade it is a really beautiful kind of like a raspberry color like that is looking really pretty i'm gonna give it a little bit of a swatch i'm also gonna be swatching after i've unpacked everything so you will also get some close-ups but it is looking really beautiful i think i'm really gonna like the shade i'm happy that it's not just like a red sometimes in advent calendars it's just like red lipstick all around and this is a little different, so that's really cute. Okay, this shade is on the website. It's called Vivid Plum. But I have a feeling like I haven't seen this in store maybe because I feel like I would have noticed. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I looked at these in store. All right, let's see. We have a day number three, this one over here. And day number three is gonna be a nail polish. This is a very deep berry nail polish. This is from their Power Pro Nail Lacquer line. And this one, does it have a name or shade? I don't see, I don't see any information here. Like, it's not clear to me what the actual shade is, but it's a very, very deep berry. This could be pretty cute. Like, it is cool it's dark it's deep vampy um i might wear this with a little bit of a topper it's been a while since i tried any kiko nail polish like from their regular line i did try some like 10 years ago but 
the ones that I tried chipped really fast. So I'm kind of curious actually, like this is a good thing. I'm gonna try it out. Okay, next day is gonna be day four. It's this really long thin one. Can I get this out? It's not that easy. Like I have to take out six, I think, to be able to grab four. By the way, I have a little bit of a cold. So if you notice me sounding a little different, that's why. But I'm just so curious, I couldn't wait to unbox this. All right, day number four is gonna be an unlimited precision automatic eyeliner and coal in shade 16. And this one looks black. Yeah, this is a black eyeliner. I already knew like there's gonna be some black eyeliner and mascara probably in this. I'm actually not gonna open this. I'm actually not gonna use this because I never, ever, ever, ever use black eyeliner. So I am gonna give this away. But it does look like a really interesting format. It does look like a format where I'm like, mm, I might try another shade sometime just to see what it is. All right, day number five is looking really interesting. A bigger package, but it's pretty light. Okay, this is gonna be a nourishing eye patch. So we have two hydrogel eye patches in this package. I don't believe there's any perfume in here. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I'm not gonna be trying it in this video. By the way, after I'm packing, I'm gonna swatch everything and then we're gonna do a look with everything. That's why I don't have any makeup on yet. We are actually gonna do like all the information in this video. I just wanna be able to tell you about the quality of the products as well, not just what is in here. So that's gonna be like the second part of the video. All right, we have day number six. Is it an armor eyeliner or a lip liner? Maybe, maybe. This is gonna be a color Kajal Cool Pencil and this is a... <sighs> It's not easy to open. <laughs> okay, this is a white pencil. I don't actually have a white pencil in my life. Um, but it could come in handy. I probably won't wear it in like the waterline, but maybe in a corner, doing some details. Like that's pretty cute. I do like it when I get things that I want to try, but not really am spending money on. Like, this is pretty good. A pretty good thing to try. Let's do seven, which is once again a bigger package. And this one is a hairbrush. Okay, I didn't expect that. A Kiki Milano hairbrush. This is kind of like a tangle teaser kind of product. Um, it doesn't say anything else. It's a golden hairbrush with a little bit of that uh, tangle teaser vibe. Uh, I'm not gonna try that today. I don't know if you know what happens when you dry brush curls, but it's not good. And then the last day for this drawer is gonna be eight. So in day number eight, it's really interesting let's see oh we have the 3d hydra gloss and this is in shade 20. this looks kind of like a mauve gloss with a little bit of a golden shimmer in it um looks like a pretty nice color actually i do like the 3d hydra glosses this is the color right there yeah i do like them so this is good it does kind of look like a shade that i own so i'm kind of like mm, did i get a double did I get a double? Okay, close, but not exactly. The one that I have is shade 19 and that one looks just a little lighter. It's similar, it's similar, but it's not the same. Back to the box for the next drawer and that ooh, is gonna be this one. Day number nine, it's gonna be really hard to get out of here. I, I get that it fits really nice and snugly and that's aesthetic and nice to ship but it's a little hard to grab. This is the Ultimate Pen Longwear Eyeliner, another black eyeliner, another product that I'm not gonna use. Okay, so if you don't like black eyeliners, I get why they are putting it in here. Like, I totally get it. A lot of people do wear black eyeliners and it's like a safe choice, but it's not for me. But I was aware that I was taking that risk, so can't be mad. All right, day number 10, pretty heavy. So these are the Glow Fusion Highlighting Drops and this is in the light pink shade. This is 02 Sweet Dream. I actually have been thinking I want to try these but I just never bought it. This looks like a really nice shade. I am however always a little scared of highlighter drops because they just uh, seem like a bit of a hassle to use like in the dripping packaging but now I'm gonna try them. That is looking pretty nice. That's promising. This seems to have a little bit of scent to it. Okay, that is looking good. I'm excited to try that. Then day 11. Is it gonna be another eyeliner? Maybe, they do have their eyeliners in this. 
Oh, it's a lip liner. So this is the Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner and this is in shade 08. And this actually looks like a really nice color and one that would really come in handy. Like I actually was thinking I need more dark lip liners because I do have some dark lipsticks but I don't really have the right lip liner to go with it. And I really like this formula of the Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liners. They're really creamy, they are really nice to apply and they are pigmented. So I'm actually liking this. I have some ways, I definitely want to use it, like some lip colors and it also fits really well with the liquid lipstick. Moving on to day 12. Feels like a sponge. Might be a sponge. And it is a sponge. I've never tried a sponge from Kiki Milano. This one does have glitter in it. It's a black sponge with some glitter. Is it gonna like rub off on my face? It's that's strange, a bit strange. But okay, we have a sponge that could come in handy for sure. Not really necessary for me. I don't use sponges like a lot, but I'd like to try it. I'd like to try one from Kiki Milano. All right, then we have a day 13. I think this is gonna be a lipstick. Looks like a lipstick. It's really snug in there, like, please come out. All right, got it. I think this is another one from the Holiday Wonder Lights collection. This is the Holiday Wonder Lights Starlight Kiss Lip Balm. So this is one of their shimmery lip balms, I think. Yeah, this looks really cool. I feel like these go viral every year from the Christmas collection by Kiko. I never bought them myself because it's more about the way it looks when you're just looking at it and less about how it looks on the lips. But this looks really pretty. It's a really cool product. I really like the feel of the packaging. This is nice. I think a lot of people are gonna like that in their calendar. Moving on to day 14. This is a eyebrow designer gel mascara. I don't think I've tried this one. I've tried another one from Kiki Milano, but it was the wrong shade. This is gonna be a clear one, I'm sure, yeah. It's a clear one, it's with a little, little brush. We're gonna try it. If you heard any background noises, my cat suddenly decided he had to aggressively wash himself and then go back to sleep. Day 15, don't know what that's gonna be. Like, that is a big box. That is probably gonna be a mask. I don't know why I keep guessing. I just, I just like guessing. I'm nosy and impatient. All right, so this is gonna be the Holiday Wonder Lights Brightening Kiss Lip Mask. I do like a lip mask from time to time because I do get really dry lips. It's gonna look really interesting. I am definitely gonna try it, but probably not today because today my lips aren't even that dry. So I'm gonna save that for the right moment. And the last little one from this drawer, this is day 16. Is it gonna be another lipstick? I think so. Oh, this is a mini lipstick, I think. Zero two holiday wonder lights, it says. And that's all the information we're getting, okay. Oh, this is a mini lipstick. It's so tiny. This is the first mini product that we're getting. <laughs> this is so tiny. It's a really nice kind of like mauve browny, like mostly brown with a hint of mauve pink in their shade. That is so, so small. <laughs> All right, we're ready. I'm ready for the last drawer. I wanna see, I wanna see some bangers. I wanna see some crazy things. I wanna see something that's gonna make the 130 euros worth it. All right, next we have a day 17. Yes, got it. And this is gonna be a brush, I think. Yes, it's gonna be an eyeshadow brush. This is the Kiki Milano brush in 52. I haven't tried. I love Kiki Milano brushes. This one does feel pretty stiff, like a very stiff kind of like hard brush. It's not a soft brush, but I think it's gonna be nice for like under the eyes for sure. Next up we have day 18. And this is gonna be another lipstick. This is a full size lipstick. So this is the, oh wait, no, it's not a lipstick. It just looks like one. Okay, this is the Holiday Wonder Lights Bronze Signature Contour Stick in 01. All right, so this is probably gonna be a light shade. Yes, it's a light shade. This is a very interesting shape. Uh, it's gonna be a good shade for me. I do like the shade match. It's quite cool tone, but not super gray, which I like when it comes to like bronzer products. I'll probably be able to use this as a bronzer, but I do think this is a little bit of a risky product to put in a calendar like this because this is for light skin tones, like truly fair to light. It's not gonna work on everyone, so I do like it. I'm happy, I'm gonna use it. I'm probably gonna like it because I do like Kiko cream products for the cheeks. 
But yeah, it's a little like on the risky side. Not everybody's gonna be able to use that. Then day 19. Okay, this is a tube of something. This is gonna be the Radiance Boost Serum Face Base. Okay, interesting. So it's gonna be an illuminating booster face serum. That is something I can get on board with. So let's do, let's blend this out. I do like things that add just a little bit of a like hydration radiance. It doesn't really seem to have any color. It just looks kind of like plumped. And that's what we're gonna try as well in a bit. All right, day 20, right over here. And this is gonna be a twinkling liquid eyeliner, the Holiday Wanderlust Twinkling Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in a kind of like frosty blue shade. It definitely looks very like frosty. Can you see that? That one over there. Frosty blue metallic. Okay, I was a little scared that we were getting another black eyeliner, but it's not. It's not. I'm happy with this. Like, that is really cute. And I do like the liquid eyeliners that we had in the Gloss Supreme collection by Kiko. All right, we're so close to the end. We have day 21. I have been unpacking this for way too long. So let's see what we have here. We have a lipstick. This is going to be one of their unlimited stylos this is shade 21 okay they really love their kind of like pinky berries in this collection i mean this is the same shade basically as that liquid lipstick i do really like i do really enjoy this formula that is a beautiful shade i do like this type of shade so i'm happy i'm happy that i don't have more red lipsticks because i don't wear those a lot this is a shade that i would wear a lot but yeah, if you don't like this type of pink, there's a lot of that in here. Like they really went with a theme with the lip products. Day 22. This is the Kika Milano Duomo District Perfume. Eau de Parfum. It just says zero and Eau de Parfum. I don't know. Like this lettering doesn't really seem very like Kika Milano. It almost seems like they put something from another brand in here. Like... I don't really understand like is this from one of their collections it doesn't really seem like a holiday wonder lights thing i'm gonna like look this up I'm gonna ask my friend google there's no extra information i cannot really find it so we're just gonna smell it and i don't really know if you will be able to buy this anywhere okay i'm just gonna spray it on my arm i don't know what to think of this it smells a little spicy but not like super heavy, a little powdery maybe. I, I don't know what to think. I, I need to let it sit for a little bit. A little powdery, maybe a little old lady. I don't know. I'm not the best at describing scents. Like I have a very sensitive nose, but if you ask me like, what are you smelling exactly? It's hard to pinpoint for me. <laughs> All right, day 23. This is a mascara, okay. I knew this was going to be in here. So this is the Maximum Long Lasting Volume and Definition Mascara. And this is going to be the black shade, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a black mascara. I knew this was going to be in here. I was aware. I am not going to actually use this because I do have the green mascara. And I can already tell you that I do really like the green mascara. I've used it a lot. But at the end of the day, I do notice a little bit of some teal specks under my eyes. So it's not like smudging but there can be a little bit of fallout from that i am gonna give this to someone i just i feel better about doing that than using it once myself and then still giving it to someone i just want to give them like a fresh product so someone is gonna get some mascara and black eyeliner all right the last day right over here give me something good give me something good kiko this is a lipstick it is the holiday wonderlight starry night sparkling lipstick and this also always is very popular, I believe, from their holiday collection. This is shade 03. The packaging is really cool, very like shimmery, glittery. And then the actual lipstick is kind of like this berry shade once again, kind of like this berry red. Looks very beautiful. Like the shimmer on the outside and the pattern on the outside is really, really gorgeous. Uh, once you apply it, it's more of kind of like a smooth, more smooth metallic lipstick. If it is the same formula as they've had in other years. So far I'm thinking we do have a lot of full-size products. I really like that. I think the value is pretty good. But I'm kind of missing this one like 
star product in his advent calendar, almost like maybe an eyeshadow palette, I don't know, but it's not really like a full face here. But we're gonna do a look and see like how I feel after that. So let's get into that. Okay, I'm gonna start out the look with a bit of lip balm. If I can find it, there are so many products here in front of me. Okay, the Starlight Kiss lip balm. Uh, I just swatched it and indeed like it looks super cool, but it's like subtle on the lips. It gives a little bit of a shimmer. I can see a little bit of that. Feels quite nice, not super thick. And yeah, just a subtle hint of shimmer. Like it's a little more than just your standard lip balm. It does feel quite nice. It feels nicer than I was expecting. Now for the eyes, we don't have any mattes, we don't have an eyeshadow palette. So I was thinking I wanna like create a bit of a crease with one of the master eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this gray shade. This is the master eyeshadow palette 01. And I'm already wearing a bit of eye primer. And if you haven't watched my video on these master eyeshadow palettes, I would suggest doing so because these are really nice. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of this satin shade on the lid as a base for that topper eyeshadow and that liner. All right, I'm a little unsure what to do because both of these are kind of like a topper situation. I think I'm just gonna apply the powder single eyeshadow first on top of this just to see what that does. I quite like this one. Like sometimes Kiko does topper-esque eyeshadows and they just fall a little flat but this does have some sparkle and it's quite nice. I could do really see that. Like sometimes it's like pay 12 years for a single eyeshadow, it's super satin. There's a little bit of fallout on my face though. Don't be too aggressive with this. Okay, I think that is pretty cool. And then for the shimmer liner, I almost feel like it could also be a bit of a like topper. But you know what? Let's let's apply this as a liner. See how that works if it's pigmented. Ooh, that's really nice. Could you see quite a difference? This is really nice for kind of like that frosty winter girl look, which I do enjoy. Yeah, this is a really nice eyeliner. Okay, that one is good. I really like it. Okay, for the inner corner, I want to use the white eye pencil. And then probably use a little bit of that shimmer topper on top as well. Like, that is gonna be one bright in a quarter. <laughs> All right, I'm grabbing a pencil brush and blending that out. Okay, I don't feel like this is going exactly as I had in mind, but it's blending. It's just really, it's definitely losing that intensity a lot. I think I could have used a little less. Like, that would have been good as well. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that powder eyeshadow. I'm gonna put that on top. Just on top of that white. So we do have a little bit of, like, difference in brightness. Yeah, I do really like this eyeshadow. Probably there are gonna be three more shades like this in their holiday collection. Okay, so I applied a bit of the Teal Mascara, so you can see the effect of the mascara just in the color. And I applied a little bit of something in the waterline. And now we can move on, I think, to the skin. And I'm gonna be trying the Radiance Boost Face Serum. I am just gonna apply this all over my face and let's see what this does. I did hydrate my skin quite a lot because I do have quite dry skin. I kind of don't want to apply it with my hands because I have shimmer all over my hands. So I'm just gonna grab a brush and blend this out. Well, maybe it has kind of like the, the faintest color to it. It's kind of like almost unnoticeable, but it has something, a little slight bit of coverage almost. Seems a little scented, which is not my favorite because I am allergic to scents. Like in the end, I do end up applying quite a lot of scented products to my face, but I try to be like careful with that, especially when I apply it on a daily. The biggest, the biggest problem is when perfume is in my skincare. Then I will just break out in rashes and it will be very, very bad. Okay, I actually think this made my skin look really nice. And I think I kind of want to just have this as my base product. Like it looks really healthy and glowy. It looks really beautiful actually. Let's see, it's not like super sticky, but I guess it could work well as a primer. It has a little bit of a tag to it. Like that is pretty promising, that's pretty good. All right, we have a contour stick, the bronze signature contour stick. Ooh, 
that just came off in chunks. I don't know if I was too aggressive, maybe. Okay, grabbing a brush. I usually don't have any issues with Kiko cream products for the face, but this one is shaped a little differently, so that could play a role in that. It's blending out really nicely. I could save this situation. It's blending out nicely on top of that primer. But yeah, this basically broke off. Let's see if I can be a little bit more careful. Yeah, I think I pressed too hard. I do quite like the color of this. A little bit of a contour over here. Okay, what do we think? I think it's a pretty good finish formula. I just don't really understand why it broke off. I'm gonna be more careful in the future. It is quite subtle. Like, I have fair skin and it looks quite subtle. It's not a, like, very bronzy shade whatsoever. But I think I do generally like how my skin is looking. Should I try and apply a little more? I'm a little scared and I'm gonna break off more, but it just seems pretty subtle. Let's see if this builds up. Yeah, it kind of does, but it's still, I think it's always gonna remain quite a subtle shade. It's never gonna be like crazy bronze, even on me. Yeah, you see it, but it's nothing very noticeable. Yeah, so keep that in mind. If you have deeper skin than I do, then this is probably not gonna show up on you. We don't have a blush, so I'm gonna quickly apply the Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush in shade 07. All right, I think it's time for another lip product. I'm gonna take off this lip balm. It was nicer than I was expecting. It's quite nice. Let's go for the 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in 20. We have so many lip products in this calendar. I am gonna swatch them all for you. I really like these 3D Hydra lip glosses. I mean, who doesn't? I think a lot of people do. These are some of the top selling products by Kiki Lana. I just don't like the scent of them. Like they right away smell like they've gone bad. All right, this is a really pretty shade. Very nude, very neutral. Like easy to throw on with almost anything, I think. Okay, time for the eyebrow designer gel mascara. I keep almost forgetting about this. Let's see if this is gonna hold my brows in place. It's very wet. Definitely a very wet eyebrow mascara. I did apply some brow pencil, but uh, usually this is not really my preferred formula because I want my brows to look fluffy and this kind of makes them look just like, wet and gelled. And I just want them to look like they have a lot of volume to them. And I feel like these types of very wet brow mascaras don't really like hold the hairs like up at first. Like they're kind of falling down because my brow hairs are so wet and therefore they are very heavy. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna like this one. I've tried more of these types of brow mascaras and I just already know like this is not gonna be for me. Next up we have the Glow Fusion Highlighting Drops. I'm gonna drop a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a little drop like so. I'm gonna grab a little bit with a highlighter brush. I'm gonna see if I can apply this with the brush because if I can then I will be very happy. Ooh, that is really pretty. That is really nice. Quite blinding, but really smooth. That is really pretty. Okay, I really like that for sure. I think it will also be possible to apply with your finger, of course, or with, I don't know, a sponge, which I did have. I kind of forgot I could have applied this with a sponge. This is really nice. Yeah, that is a beautiful, natural, yet like visible glow. Like here I applied a little more, here I applied a little less. I think this is my favorite side. Here is like full on, bam, highlighter. And this is just a little bit more demure. I really like this. I like it more than I thought. And I'm kind of like, why haven't I tried that before? That's a good highlighter. I think at this point, what we have to do is try some more lip products. So I'm gonna take this off again. Let's try the Holiday Wonder Lights Mini Lipstick. We don't have any information because it doesn't fit on here, but it seems like a cream lipstick. It's kind of like the color of my lips. Okay, that is really nice. I do think if you wear this lipstick like, I don't know, 10, 15 times, it's gonna be out. Like that's gonna be it. But it's a nice way to try this formula. This is really nice. Thin. 
creamy. It's quite a, a glowy lipstick in a way. It's kind of glossy in a way. So that was shade 02. If you don't buy this calendar, you can always wait for the collection to be here. If you want to get any of the like holiday wonder lights products from this calendar. All right, let's try the unlimited stylo. I already know I quite like this formula, but it is slightly sticky. So keep that in mind. If you absolutely hate sticky formulas, this one is probably not for you. That is a beautiful color. Or was this one sticky? You don't feel any stickiness now. That is really gorgeous. That's a beautiful shade. It's like kind of it's kind of like a deepened fuchsia. It's a little bit more of a like fall or winter fuchsia. It doesn't feel sticky now. I feel like I had another shade that was slightly sticky. But no issues with that here. Sometimes Kiko does have a little bit of a difference between like lipsticks in one formula range. It happens. But yeah, this one is gorgeous. I really like this one. My lips. <laughs> are not looking the best right now but we are just continuing so we have the lasting matte veil lip color in 15 i'm hoping this is gonna look like smooth on the lips it's like a bit of a risky one it really has this kind of velvety look to it that's beautiful of course you can make it look even more crisp than this, like you can use a lip liner, you can take a little bit more time applying it. It does dry down pretty quickly. Feels really good. It's just a transfer proof, non-sticky formula that does like, stay on the lips quite a long time. I do really enjoy it. This is really beautiful. I can totally see myself wearing this. Like This is the type of shade that I would go for. That is not too deep, not too vampy, but still gives me kind of like that, like that festive vibe for sure. All right, time for the last lip combo. I'm going to apply the Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner in shade 8. Gotta be careful because it is creamy, like pay attention. And it's also just very pigmented. All right, so that's the lip liner. I'll probably have to fix it a little bit after I've applied the lipstick. So we're going to end with the... Starry Night Sparkling Lipstick, a very cool name for a very cool lipstick. I have had this formula before and it is quite metallic, but not in a way that is too frosty. I actually quite like the formula. And this is quite a nice cool toned red. The lip liner does make it look a little bit more vampy, but I think it's a pretty cool combination. I quite like it. I do feel like I need a little bit more blush and that goes on top of the highlighter really well. That's also something that is important to me, but it does tone it down a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna be the finished look. I did spend a little bit of time trying to save my brows because I really wasn't happy with it. The thing is that brow gel does really hold your brows in place. Like it glues them down, but because it's so wet, it is very heavy and they are not glued in the place that I want them to be. So I was just kind of like playing around with this brow gel as well because I also just want a little bit of that color, a little bit of that fluffiness in my brows. I don't know yet about that brow gel if it really has a place in my collection. All right, the overall calendar. I feel like we have a lot of fun products here, a lot of products that I'm excited to play more with. Of course, there are some things in here that I already knew that weren't going to be for me, but I was aware of that. I feel like if you like this tone of lip color and you are fine with having like some black mascara and some black eyeliners, like there's a lot of fun things here. I like that you get a little bit of sampling of the Holiday Wonder Lights collection that's coming up. Probably I will kind of like revisit these in my video reviewing that collection as well. Like I will just have these products and then I will also buy some new products from the collection. The perfume isn't super heavy. There is some florals in there, I think. There is some powderiness to it, but I actually kind of like it. It's kind of like a nighttime scent in a way, but it's not so heavy, so you can wear it like whenever you want it. It's a little different for me. I definitely don't have anything like that in my collection, but I do enjoy it more than I thought when I first like smelled it and sprayed it. All in all, I think this calendar has a pretty good value, but it also really depends on you. Like, do you think you're gonna use most of these things? Would you use at least 130 euros worth of products from this calendar. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. I feel like it's a bit of a tricky calendar because we do have some things from their regular line. Like you might get some doubles as well. I didn't get any doubles, which I was really happy with. Only thing I was kind of missing is kind of like the showstopper product. Like the one really, really gorgeous, beautiful, like 
so exciting product like maybe even a quad could have been in here and it would have kind of like rounded out the collection and also i was missing a blush like i like it the most when there's kind of like a full face in a calendar like this but that's just me that's just my opinion i do think in the end the essence and catrice advent calendar style is a little bit more up my alley because it's all new it's kind of like a limited edition collection but packaged in like a box and if Kiki Milano would do that, I would be like over the moon. I would be so, so excited if they had a little advent calendar with just Holiday Wonderlights products, I would be buying that instantly without a second thought. But that's also just a personal preference. Let me know if you're gonna buy this calendar. Are you excited about it? Do you like the products that are in here? And then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.